I'll bypass the regular slew of cheesy quotes, because if you play Scarface Last Stand by Starwave, you'll hear them more than enough times to make films like Tango and Cash sound like Shakespeare. Scarface is an odd twist for the on-rail shooter genre. Once you're in control of Tony, you're unable to directly move the character, but aiming controls allow you to select and blow away the endless stream of opponents you face. Instead of the usual tap to aim and fire, you use an analog stick to aim and lock onto enemies and fire with a separate button. Several control schemes are available to choose from, but none feel quite as solid as the default settings. Tony Montana's mansion is recreated as faithfully as possible, but feels impossibly empty, even with enemies scattering around the corridors. Movement animations look stiff and the special effects are kept minimal. As you progress, plenty of new weapons are unlocked, but compared to Tony's rage mode, everything else feels like a pea shooter. Scarface may be a great cult film that has had a resurgence thanks to shows like South Park, but this game lacks the energy of its source material. Blowing away enemies quickly become repetitive, and unlocked weapons are in some cases almost pointless to use. But worst of all, the random spouting of catchphrases feels immensely awkward. Overall, this is a fairly decent shooter that's more appealing to hardcore fans than a casual audience. This has been Andrew with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.